Okay, this is going to be the uh, tutorial on how to uh, select cases in uh, SPSS or PASW. Uh, select cases allows you to analyze only certain individual uh, sets of data, uh, whereas split file lets you do the same analysis on, um, on different subsets of the data. Select cases actually eliminates data from your analysis. It doesn't delete the uh, data, it just takes them out. So if you have a participant that you know uh, didn't really follow the task, you might select them out. Or let's say you have multiple conditions in a study uh, and you want to look at only two of them or only three of them. Or if you only want to look at men, you want to remove all women from the analysis and you're not even interested in using them in the study. Uh, this is when you would use select cases. Uh, there's a couple different ways to do this. Uh, you'll start off by going up to data, and we'll go all the way down to select cases, which is right below split file. And when you do this, uh, the following window will come up. Now, there are a couple options here, uh, two of which are the most common to use. Uh, the first is if condition is, satisf is satisfied. What this allows you to do, if you click this, this will give you the following window. And what it's going to essentially ask is it's going to ask you to write a code for who do you want to eliminate in this study. Uh, let's actually go back a moment um, and we'll look at what our data is. We have our participant ID, uh, sex of participants, something called uh, rejection experience. Uh, we'll uh, take a look at that in variable view. Then uh, people's belief in luck, their superstition, and their happiness. And so I, uh, in this study, we might imagine that individuals are subjected to some form of social rejection. Uh, and then we measure their belief in luck, their levels of superstition, and their happiness. If we click on variable view, uh, we can see that uh, one is for men, and uh, actually we have to change this. Uh, one uh, zero should be for men, and uh, one should be for women. Um, but that uh, for rejection experience, a negative one means they were rejected, a zero is the control condition, and a one is the inclusion condition. So let's say um, I only wanted to look at um, I only wanted to look at rejected and included individuals. In other words, I'm no longer interested in this column here. I no longer want to see uh, people who were in the control condition. I would go to if condition is satisfied. I would move rejection experience over and I would say, I want you to select everyone who uh, is not equal to zero because a zero was the control condition. Meaning, I want, I want ones and I want negative ones, but I don't want any zeros. So I want rejection experience to not equal zero. Um, that is my uh, selection criteria. And if I hit continue and then OK, um, we should, as you see, there's a, a, a slash mark through all of the zeros. And then we could run the analysis, in this case an independent sample t-test, just on rejection experience. You'll notice there's a variable over here called filter. There is a zero everywhere that a that a uh, number has been filtered out. Now we could also filter if we wanted to. We could also filter on another variable. We could go back to data, select cases, and we could say I want to filter out anyone who was in the control condition, and I want to I want only people who are women. I only want women in this study. And if I hit continue and OK. We will see that most people have been eliminated, but now the only people who will remain are people who were not a zero in rejection and are also a woman. Those are the only people that remain. We can go back to data and select cases, and we can reset this and, and hit OK, and all of our data will be back. Now, the other way to do this is to create a variable on your own called filter. and to fill it in with the number one everywhere. By doing this, we can then go back to data, select cases, and we can say, I want you to use a particular variable as my filter variable, and we'll put in filter. What this will allow us to do is that anywhere we put a zero, we will suddenly eliminate that participant. So let's say I want to eliminate participant 10, because during the study I found out they were talking on their cell phone. All I have to do now is go over here, hit zero, and now that person is no longer part of the analysis. Any analysis you run will ignore that person. They will not be included. And to put them back, I can just put a one here. I can put zero, zero, zeros, and I can continue to get rid of individuals based on whatever criteria I've preset. 
This is how you use the select cases function.